All right, Blues fans, hey, welcome in here. Joe Vitale, I'm joined by two very special guests, uh, Blues forwards, Ryan O'Reilly and David Perron. We thought this would be a great time uh, to check in with them, especially given the recent NHL players poll, which we'll get into in a couple of minutes. But David, let's let's start with you. Uh, you're back home in Sherbrooke. Uh, you're clearly uh, at your gymnasium. I think you want to brag at least to all the players around your team. The league. Working out every day, that's why. That you're, that you're working out every day. Uh, you got your basketball hoop. How is home and how is the, how's the homeschooling going? Uh, it's been good. Uh, obviously, trying to make the best uh, out of the situation. Um, back home with the kids and uh, spending a lot of time with them. It's been a lot of fun that way. Um, we have a bigger property, so we get, we get to enjoy uh, outside a little bit too. And that's, that's basically all it is. Spend some family time, and uh, we, don't, we don't get a lot of it uh, during the season, so it's great. Not that you don't appreciate what your wife does, David, because we all do. Uh, you know, I always like to say that behind every great hockey player is a strong woman because without them, there's no way we could function and do what we do on the ice. But has this experience over the last three weeks, has it given, given you maybe a little bit more of an appreciation for what your wife goes through day in and day out? Oh, yeah, 100%. I think we, we end up doing a lot more things than we do normally uh, in the house, around the house and all that. Uh, definitely, uh, they're pretty strong to take care of, of the kids, stay back. Uh, for me, they, she's been here uh, for most of the year and um, obviously being around the kids um, every single day, it's, it's the best part. And uh, yeah, obviously we're lucky to have them. And Ryan, we'll switch over to you for, for a second. You're still back in St. Louis. Uh, you decided to stay put. Your son, Jameson, who we just saw a couple seconds ago on the screen before he had to run him upstairs because he makes too much noise. You got your boy. Uh, your wife is due soon with your second. Uh, for you, between guitars and just getting around the house, what what fills your day in the O'Reilly household? Um, well, definitely my little guys uh, a lot. Um, yeah, it's it's really nice to spend some time with him, especially before the new the new baby's coming. But uh, yeah, keep it up to him is is quite tiresome. Uh, he's uh, I got him some golf clubs though, so we've been outside and <laughs> hit him into that, and he's starting to hit it pretty good. But uh, you know, it's fun. It's it's been a lot of fun to be able to have that, and um, yeah, just the you odd know, work out here and there, try to stay in shape and, and see what happens. But um, you know, it's definitely uh, it's definitely a cool thing to kind of yeah be on the other side of it and get to relax at home. Ryan, for the players who don't have the state-of-the-art gyms, uh, like David Perron, obviously, uh, what do you do uh, day in and day out to uh, stay active and stay in shape? Um, I've been trying to run a bit here and there, uh, just kind of around our area. It's pretty quiet, so it's kind of nice. And I also got, uh, got a band right here. I try to do some exercises. <laughs> Are you allowed to turn the lights on in, in your house? Or? <laughs> yeah, I can't see the power right now. Come on. But, uh, yeah, I get my band workouts in, and uh, – yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I would imagine chasing your little guy around is probably just as much running as you need to do in a full day, huh? Oh, my gosh. I think it's tougher than, than playing games, keeping up to him all day. By the end of it, mm -hmm. like 9 o'clock, I can barely keep my eyes open. So it's, it's definitely a newfound respect uh, <laughs> chasing him. <laughs> well, you guys, we wanted to bring you on uh, specifically today uh, for a lot of fans. For you guys, obviously, you've probably seen it already. The NHLPA, the players did a poll of a lot of different categories, fun activities, stuff on the ice, best player, best goalie, best defenseman. And they kind of did more fun stuff off the ice. Uh, and one of the categories was the best bromance in the National Hockey League. You see what they did? They got the brothers and then the romance, and they kind of combined the words there. Uh, the bromance, and, and you guys won. Uh, and David, I'll start with you. Uh, you guys were in some good company. I mean, Joe Thornton and Brent Burns, that's one that just stands out. Bergeron, Marchand. Uh, but you guys took it down. W were you surprised at all, David, when you saw that you and Ryan had won? I think the I think the vote was in November or something. We had our NHLPA uh, meeting, and I know that some of the guys uh, joked around a little bit and put our names on it. It was kind of funny at the time, but to end up winning it is is even funnier. I think uh, I don't know. I um, oh, Ryan hasn't really answered my text here in the last two weeks, so I don't know if he <laughs> get some time off for me or what. But I know I'm in his kitchen quite a bit uh, at the rink and all that. And uh, no, no, I, I think it's all for fun. Uh, I think we get along pretty good too, and. Um, away from the rank as well uh, on the road we have fun and uh, that's that's what it's all about and Ryan I think that uh, well first of all please return David's text for all of us and for his sake uh, <laughs> number two I think what fascinated fans about you guys you know you have to go back to last year's Halloween party and, and I remember and of course you guys know the Halloween party is one of the best days out of the year as far as the teams getting together uh, there's new players you meet the wives and all the kind of great stuff and 
walk us through what happened that night as far as what your costume was and what David's costume was. And, and the rumor is that it wasn't planned. So I want you guys to come clean right now. There had to be some sort of premeditation yeah. leaning into that night. Um, yeah, so the, the year before, previously, I was, uh, I was just like a slice of bread. I was just toast. And then, um, you know, I thought this year would be a good opportunity to kind of have a play on that. And I thought, well, you know, maybe French toast would be a perfect, <laughs> perfect way. So I kind of was able to get a nice uh, prawn name bar and number and put it on the toast. And therefore, <laughs> I became French toast and, and uh, it was him. So I, you know, some of you guys joke around and call him French Toast as well, his uh, for his nickname. But uh, yeah, it was pretty uh, random. And then obviously I show up and and he was like first guy I see. He's got the fake beard, and like <laughs> the guitar, and like you know, shirt that I always wear. He's got that, and uh, it was completely. I think uh, a couple of guys were kind of stirring the pot behind it, trying to get us kind of making sure we we're going to mm -hmm. do something like that. But uh, it was definitely uh, hilarious when when, when we saw it. And David, what was your reaction when you showed up and you saw Ryan dressed as you? Yeah, I couldn't believe it. I, I obviously, uh, like you said, I think guys were stirring the pot a little bit in the background to <laughs> get us to do it, but we obviously had no idea that we would both uh, be doing that. Uh, no, I don't know. It's, you can tell he's a little bit cheap on the other side. You got some free stuff <laughs> to drink, and I had to go buy a guitar, a band of horses, t-shirt, a lot of the things that he likes. Um, a lot of inside jokes too, just, just between the guys that we had fun with and that's what it's all about. Again, uh, we have a lot of fun as a team and, uh, that, that worked out uh, pretty good for, for a team that, that night. And Ryan, David's right. I mean, you had some serious assistance from trainers cause you had the, the Perron number, you had the Perron logo. I would imagine they took that logo from a practice Jersey. Uh, we got it from the store. I think yeah, I we went up to the store and we got, uh, or actually, yeah, I got like the big logo from there and then, yeah, the trainers helped out. Gave me uh, the, uh, the nameplate, a uh, number and such, but uh, it was good. I had to get a little scarf, though. I had to go buy that, unfortunately. <laughs> a little scarf, a little the thin cigarette and beret. Just to really sell it enough, but uh, yeah. <laughs> so that yeah. probably ran you, ran you 20 bucks. David, my question, I guess, then to you is, um, what did you do with the guitar? Did you at least give it to Ryan, who can play it? It was a cheap guitar, though. He didn't, he didn't spend that much on it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it was hard to find a guitar. I had to go to a legit store and get one. Uh, it's in my basement in St. Louis, and uh, maybe I'll try and get on it eventually one day. Who knows? But Or maybe maybe he's going to come around my house and, and have a concert or something one day with the boys. And uh, <laughs> I know he likes that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if you're going to have a lot of time for uh, concerts, David. You look like you're obviously just been in the gym uh, since the season <laughs> was suspended oh, yeah. a few weeks okay. ago. Um, okay. Hey, I got something fun for us to do. I got six questions, three for you, David, three for you, Ryan. I'm going to call this segment the perfect bro trip. So imagine it's the off season. Since you guys won the bromance, we're going to see okay. what this trip looks like. All right. I'm going to start with you, Ryan. Uh, your first question, and we're going to put this all together at the end. You have a trip with David this summer, one week. First question for you, Ryan, where are you going? Where are we going? We're going Ireland. Ireland. I, I was going to say that too, actually. <laughs> <laughs> See, there you go. We're off to a great start. All right, uh, David, uh, your second question, when you're in Ireland, are you having separate rooms or are you guys together in uh, <laughs> I guess double beds or queen beds, whatever? No, uh, one bed. That's all we need. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one, one room. And one bed. I got that down. All right, Ryan, back to you. Day one, first morning, it's breakfast. You can order for David. What are you ordering David for breakfast? Oh, I think he's he's getting an omelet for sure. He's getting, uh, gosh, what's he put it in again? He hate, he's not putting mushrooms in it. I know that. He hates mushrooms. Okay. It's, uh, gosh, it's going to have some cheese in there. Make it some cheese okay. and ham. Ham and cheese omelet, I'm guessing. Okay. Yeah. Ham and cheese. I'm, I'm surprised. I thought, David, David, I thought you kept it leaner than that. I thought you were on that, like, vegan, uh, no bread, keto, veggie, yeah. stay away from the meat diet like Ryan. No? Uh, no, yeah, he's definitely uh, in, into that. Uh, no, I don't usually go with, like, scrambled eggs, avocado, and, like, some berries. That, that's it almost every morning. Uh, I guess I'm a creature of habit. I can do it every morning and not get sick of it. Well, you got to fuel that body. You got to fuel those traps. Looking good. Yeah, All right. David, your next question, um, outdoor activity. What outdoor activity are you planning in surprise for you and Ryan to do in uh, Ireland? 
in Ireland, play golf probably. I, I know that golf. he likes that. Um, and then, uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Okay, Ryan. Um, last night, are you doing a dinner and a movie with David or are you guys going to do a dinner and a music show? That's a stupid question. I don't know why I asked that. But go on. <laughs> That's an easy one. Well, for, I think yeah, I think we've taken a little live music, but uh, I know it'd be nice if we we're over there. Maybe go to the Guinness factory. And maybe oh, start sorry. there and then go to a little live music somewhere. Okay. Well, hold on, Ryan. This is this is my um, this is my show, so you okay, can't just sorry. add so, live music. Add a, <laughs> you can't just add a category that's not there. But all right. Well, so music show. <laughs> slash a brewery. Uh, David, um, if you put a curfew on the final night, what time are we going to bed? <laughs> I can't answer that. What time? <laughs> okay. No, oh, we're question mark. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, uh, so to be uh, clear. Uh, it's funny that he brings up the Guinness factory, though. I never had a uh, Guinness ever before I met Ryan last year. And uh, just – Kind of became my favorite beer uh, over the last uh, little while here. Just healthy I beer, it's a heavy one, and once you kind of get used to it, it kind of turns out to be the opposite. So, really like it. Yeah. Is it the best Ryan uh, post game recovery drink? Would you say? <laughs> I, I would think so. I think it could be argued uh, quite a bit by uh, some trainers, but uh, so there's some protein in there, which is definitely key after a, you know after a match but uh yeah i'd have to say it would be probably the best post game all right well so to be clear guys uh your guys perfect bromance trip looks like this you guys are going to ireland you have one room and you have one bed um ryan you're going to order an omelet with cheese even though david would prefer avocado and berries uh you're going to golf together you're going to go to a music show in the guinness factory and then david said there will be no curfew for the entire trip for both of you does that sound pretty nice can i come on that trip yeah, I guess. Yeah, we maybe we'll, we bring one more. We can maybe uh, we'll have some good golf matches together. There. I'll bring Darren Pang. I, uh, I feel like he could wipe the floor with both you guys. Uh, ah, yeah, I don't know about that. He's too good. <laughs> like something else. Uh, Ryan and David, I really appreciate your time. Just a couple things here to wrap it up. Uh, Ryan, last question for you. Uh, I guess just in general, it's been about three weeks since Gary Bettman um, suspended the season. Um, what do you miss most uh, about a game day? Uh, oh gosh, just um, no everything about it. You know, it's just it's such a uh, you know you wake up, you pretty much get paid to go to bed, get moving, eat, and then go back to bed, and then next year head to the rink and play hockey. So it's a very it's it's one of the days you look forward to the most. But um, yeah, and I'm just getting back and getting competitive again. You know, after three weeks, you're kind of sitting here, and usually this is a time where we're ramped up for playoffs, and it's the most intense time of the year. And to be kind of sitting here, it's just definitely a very weird feeling but there's obviously more important things kind of that are at stake here and we need to kind of get everyone safe first and then uh, hopefully it comes back and we're playing soon but uh yeah it's uh it's definitely missed for sure you know it's it's a weird it's a weird time right now how did the conversation go ryan when you told your wife that you're going to continue to do your pregame naps even though there's no hockey um well she was uh as long as i brought my little guy with me it's fine <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so I'm able, uh, we've been napping together pretty good. How many cold tubs in the last three weeks? I, not a single cold tub. <laughs> I, I, I kind of missed that quite a bit. I missed that quite a bit in the cold tub, but uh, nap wise, it's good. My little guy, we're, you know, we're little nap buddies right now. We, we lock it down pretty good. Good. Uh, David, uh, final question for both of you, but David, you can wrap this up here for, for everyone out there. We, again, appreciate your time. Uh, you've been a part of this organization on and off, David, since 2007. Um, any message you have for all the Blues fans out there? Well, I mean, obviously for all the nurses and doctors that are helping out, thanks a lot. Uh, with all of you guys, you're, you're the true heroes right now. And it's obviously uh, a crazy time and everyone needs to make their part and, and stay home and all that. And I think for Blues fans, we, we just can't wait to, to get back playing and and see all you guys. But as Ryan said, there's a lot more uh, important uh, things right now going on. And uh, we just got to wait and see what happens. Well, guys, hey, I really appreciate it. Uh, clearly, David's got to get back to working out. Ryan, you got a nap probably with your little guy. And um, it means a lot to the Blues fans. It's great to see your face. It's great to hear your voices. I look forward to the day we can see each other again in the locker room. Hopefully, that's this season. And uh, you guys be safe and be well and tell your family all the best from all the Blues and, and everyone here in St. Louis. I got, I got one more thing, though. I, I, 
Oh, well, Hunter Buck says you can't make a, make a shot from sitting down. Oh, all right. Yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> oh, <laughs> that would have been oh, nice. Yeah. I'll, I'll give that to you. I'll, I'll buy you dinner when we get back. No problem. Nice. I like it. But thanks, well, Joey. You know actually, you have before, us. Before, we, before we hopped on here, David actually drained uh, one from sitting down. Dave, are you in uh, Sherbrooke? <laughs> oh, hope you got that on camera. Guys, thanks so much for all your time. Well, thanks a lot. Be safe, guys. Talk to you soon. Appreciate it. Thank you.